Before we start the video, guys, your boy has been partnered or teamed up with Epic Games. They gave your boy a code for create a supporter. All you guys have to do is type in my gamer tag, exotic motion underscore YT. Guys, show some love, support your boy, and keep in mind, you do have to update it every like two weeks because I think they automatically delete it, and then you have to retype it in every like three weeks or something like that. So if you guys can, show some love, tweet me some pictures because I'm going to be picking some winners for a free giveaway that I'm going to announce in a live stream coming up soon. But let's get into the video. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom Brady, guys. Another video. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down a tip and trick video for you guys. So basically, I'm going to be showing you guys what you need to do when you're going against good players because there's a lot of tips and stuff out there for what to do against bad players, but that's easy to take care of. But when you're going against somebody good, you need to learn some top tier tips and stuff like that to try and help you out and win. So for instance, in this gameplay right here, I don't think we got that many kills, but there's instances where I pick and choose what fights I need to be in and what not to be in. So again, this is squad. We're running, I think, a three-man squad at the start of this game i'm gonna go ahead and play it. we're in theater mode by the way for those of you that don't know and we're just basically gonna break it down so as you guys can see first thing we do is we land over here at uh risky reels so instantly i find two blue pump shotguns my teammate says he needs help i find an ar i'm like okay there's a chest in here but i don't have time to actually get the chest uh, i had to actually get out there as quick as i can and try and help my teammate because he ended up getting knocked and i didn't want them to thirst him as you can see netflix over there laying down i'm just checking around to see if anyone's by him that is gonna thirst him and I'm just focusing on those people. Lit this kid up, ended up knocking him. Instead of trying to thirst him, I'm focusing the other teammates, which is what you need to do. A lot of people really try to go for those thirsts. Don't do that. Sometimes you need to focus other people. And right now, me and my teammate have a perfect split where we're not rushing him on the same side. He's going left side. I'm gonna kind of going to push this right side. So that way, they, they don't really know exactly who to look at. Because if they shoot at him, then he's open for me and stuff like that. So you guys don't want to push a squad all together in one. My grenade luckily ended up killing him. So that's good there. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys real quick. Again, from their point of view, as you guys can see, uh, there's my teammate right there. Let's go to drone free. Let's see if we can actually maintain or handle controlling this thing. All right, so as you guys can see over here, they have one teammate, two teammates. Okay, so Prodigy and JGC. Let's go back a little bit more. So as you guys can see, Prodigy and JGC are in here. Or J yeah, JGC. They're in here and they're just chilling. Now, the second that they start getting shot at, they push up. And as you can see, they see me across the map. They see me on the building, but they don't see my teammate over here to the right. Way too much sauce. He's pushing this right side. So they're both focusing me because I'm, I'm giving them shots. They hear the shots and they know where I am. So they're both going to look at me and try and focus me. Luckily, our teammate, way too much sauce. Actually, this guy was actually played smart Prodigy. He actually started shooting my teammate but he ended up getting knocked because i don't know maybe he got distracted by him or something and then right, just like that it's a 1v2 instantly shoot his structure down give him no base while i'm shooting my teammate was pushing up now i'm pushing up he's healing up and again it's a quick push we both push at the same time i'm throwing nades giving him pressure he doesn't know what to do and then he decides to peek as you saw he literally peaked at the worst time. And then the second he peaked to try and shoot at me, my teammate way too much sauce was ready. He was ready to just light him up the second he put his head up and stuff like that. Instead of picking up your teammate, help each other out, finish the team, and then pick up your teammate. He got him weak, and then my grenade ended up killing him over there. So th there's the first fight. Now we're going to move on to the next fight. Let's go to gameplay. Let's go to this part. Okay, so this part of the game, we're going to go to gameplay. Hopefully... When I do drone free next time, it doesn't go far out. So as you guys can see, I'm over here. My two teammates at the mini map at the top right, they're over there in Dusty. They're going to end up running into a full team or at least a team of two or three, it looks like. And I didn't know this. I was just pushing, looking for people. The second they were in a gunfight, I was like, okay, they're, they're busy. Let me get this gun. And then I'm going to turn around and try and help them out. My teammate ends up Netflix, smart play by him. He ends up jumping out of there getting out of there and coming over to me which is smart you want to be with your teammates if he was over there by himself taking on three people that would have been a dumb play because he would have got knocked and then those three people would have been able to 3v1 me so again you want to get with your team try to recoup situate yourself and as you can see they shot me down but it's okay because now now that now that we know that they're over there and they're they see us over here they're gonna push us they're gonna get aggressive and if not they made a bad mistake one of them only pushed us easily he's gonna fly over to us because the new redeploy gliders makes sense so the second he's flying of course let him up in the air as you can see we literally got him so weak to the point where we just knock him and then it's their two teammates are over there still as you can see these two little pink circles or lines that's their teammates so the teammates are still over there 
and they're fighting one of our other teammates. This blue person right here that you guys see in Dusty, that's my teammate. So I know that it's a 1v2 over there. So what I'm going to do is instead of staying in this location and trying to shoot them down from over here, instantly I'm going to go ahead and try to like help out my teammate because he's got a lot of pressure on him. He's got two people focusing him. He's got a lot of pressure. So I'm going to go over there and help ease the pressure off of him by jumping in their face. So if I'm jumping in their face, that means it's going to ease the pressure from them a little bit. As you can see, my teammate is way too much sauce. He's really weak. He's basically one shot. I'm landing on this dude's head, giving him so much pressure, helping my teammate out. And then we end up getting the kill. We kill that whole team right there. So that was a good play by us because, again, Netflix used the redeploy glider. He built up. He came over to me because he was he realized I was a 1v3. It was a bad play. So we were just in a bad position. It's all about positioning. So he ended up coming over to us. And you want to you want to play it smart. You got to remember that you can redeploy glider. If you don't see yourself in a good situation, get out of there, man. Get out of there. You're, you guys are going to see me do it a lot later on in this game. And it's a really good thing. So as you can see... Now, if let me go to third person. Okay, so now you guys can see way too much sauce, our teammate and me right there. And then they have one, two, three people at the top of Dusty Divot. Or, yeah, Dusty Divot. So we're over here. I'm trying to get weapons and stuff. I'm trying to loot this guy up. And then way too much sauce is coming in to help me out. Sadly, Netflix ends up getting light up by all three of them. Literally, all three of them are there. Light him up, and he goes down. But instantly, right when he goes down, he's going to crawl down here, try to remain coverage so that way he can get revived. Um, and then way too much sauce ends up pushing up. So now I'm still down here. I know that there's another team that pushed us. I'm going to come up this way and go up. Now, keep in mind, when you do have low ground like this, it does suck. It makes things hard, but you got to commit to it. So way too much sauce ends up getting knocked. They focused him heavy, so it was a 2v1. He got just focused hard, and then you see me coming up over here. So let's go to gameplay and see exactly what I did. So I saw them up here. I decided, you know what? I got to re-get high ground because if they stay high ground, it's over for me. So instantly, I'm trying to build up to get high ground. I'm putting coverage above me, and I'm sitting here fighting. Okay, so now I have high ground on this guy, and I know he's he's below me going to do something. So I'm getting shot, and I'm curious, where the heck am I getting shot from? So I'm looking all around me, below me, to see if any ramps get placed. Because if somebody's going to retake high ground, you're going to see their stairs. You're going to most likely see a floorboard or a stairs get placed, and that's how you know where they are. So I had no clue where he was. So I saw the stairs right here. Instantly, I was like, okay, he's going to come up this way. As you can see, he's double ramping, which is smart. Protects his head, and he has his floorboard to run on. Um, but instantly, I just put a floorboard here and there to trap him so he can't go up any higher, so there's no high ground. He basically just got caught. He, he doesn't know what to do. But what he does is he makes a smart play. Again, same exact tactic. I was going to break this floorboard or this stair, his stair, and then edit my floorboard and kill him if he stayed there. But he's a good player, so what he did was he hit my floorboard and he retreated from there and picked a different route. Now, the second I saw this stair or floorboard, whatever you guys want to call it, get placed, I knew that, that he wasn't going to still be down here. He was going to change his route. He was a good player. So instantly, I switched to my shotgun slightly had an opening because when somebody tries to retake high ground there's going to be a split second of opening that you have take my shot hit him for 95 pull out my smg insanely quick as you can see he's one shot right here literally one shot pull out my smg try to get an angle on him and i light him up just to get one bullet on him kill him right there and there you guys have it now as you guys can see I won that high ground. We ended up winning. And if you look down here, you can see one, two, three, four people over here. They're starting to push us. So it's going to be like a, what, a fourth party because these people third partied us. Now these people are coming to third party again. So there's going to be another team rushing. But I see how far they are. And I remembered, I remembered about my teammate. If you guys don't remember, my teammate got knocked down here. And I know he's he's trying to uh, stay alive and get picked up. So he, he went to a good place. I was like, all right, they're far out. What I'm going to do is instead of trying to fight them, I'm just going to jump down revive my teammate because we have plenty of time look at how far they are I, again they can redeploy the glider and get to me quick but i still think i have enough time and it is better to pick up your teammate and have your teammate help you out rather than just taking on the fight alone because if you take on the fight alone it's a 1v4 fight it's going to be hard they're all four focusing you but if i have a teammate alive at least maybe two can focus him two focus me so it eases the pressure off of me a little bit and that's where a lot of it comes and takes place at is Pressure and location. So if you have a bad position or something like that, you need to get out of there and reposition yourself. If you're getting pressured and two teams are pushing you in the center, get out of there. It's all about that. Like you gotta know when to fight and when not to fight. So there's gonna be a, a minute here where we literally just have a standoff, snipe off, and it's them four against me. Right here sniping while my teammates healing up, taking that chug jug. Nothing special happens, but the circle is closing in. So when the circle closes in, you guys are gonna see me get out of there. I'm like, all right, you know what? Instantly, circle's closing. I need more mass. I just got done with the fight. I'm gonna get out of here, go inside 
inside a dusty divot and actually farm some trees, which is smart. You got to pay attention to everything in the game. You got to pay attention to your mats, stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get my get my mats up, get my heels up, everything like that. Recoup, get my teammate back over here and situate again. Now, as I'm farming, I hear more gunshots from the same location. As you guys can see over here, you have one team right here in the trees. And then you have another team over here. This is the team that was shooting at us. This team is another team that came to third party because they heard these people sniping. So these two teams are about to get into a fight and you can hear the gunshots. And if they're not shooting at you and you hear gunshots, that means somebody else is shooting at them and somebody else tried to third party them. I know some of these tips are very basic, but watching it and hearing it over and over again, it'll put it in your head to the point where you don't have to think about it. It's just second nature and it happens automatically. So I hear them fighting and I'm like, you know what? Let's go, let's go third party. I mean, if we wanted to play for the win, we don't have to push up there. We don't have to do anything. We could just go to the circle, hide out and chill. But again, I want to get kills and stuff like that. I want to get better at the game. So I'm going to push them. Now, while they're getting third party, this is the best time to push. The reason I'm eating these mushrooms is because my teammates are kind of far back. This is my teammate, by the way, and this is me. So he's a little farther back than me on my mini map. So I knew that there was going to be some time where he had to actually catch up to me so we could actually 2v4 it rather than me just pushing alone. So I decided to pop some shrooms and I'm like, all right, let me farm up a little bit more and then I'm going to push up. My teammates should be closer to me and I'm going to hit the flank. Instead of pushing, as you guys can see, let me go to third person again. Hopefully, I had a feeling it was going to put me all the way over here. As you guys can see, instead of pushing up this hill and fighting them directly head on, because if I push up this hill, I can literally fight them dead on. But that's one, two, three, four. I don't know how many people are alive over here. So I was like, you know what? Instead of pushing them dead on, right where they're all fighting what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and go up this way try to hit a flank on them and then try to work work off of that again pull out my ar maybe i wasn't gonna waste my shot on the shot unless he was not moving there's no reason to snipe you know you're gonna miss your shot you're gonna blow your cover they're gonna see you stuff like that so it's not worth it but luckily i think he ended up seeing me one of them maybe saw me so what he ended up doing was right here fat snaps he ended up rushing me this fat snaps guy rushed me. He shot me down. Very smart play. And then it was a, it was basically a shotgun fight. I, I knew he had a heavy. I was like, crap, this is going to suck. Because I know once once me and him are fighting, his teammates are going to come help. Like this guy up here, they're probably going to come help. So I got to get out of here. I got to do my best to get out of here. I hear them coming. They're shooting at me. They're building quick. These are good players. These, these players know what they're doing for sure. And instead of fighting, I'm like, you know what? I'm out. There's no reason to fight that fight. It's a 1v4. I think this is my teammate over here. Let's go to drone free real quick. I think my teammate is still down here. Yeah, Netflix is still down here. I think he was farming up or something like that. So he's still down there trying to farm while I'm fighting a full team of four. So there's no reason for me to be there. I'm out of there. I dipped out of there, flew out of there. Yes, they are going to get some shots into me. But it's okay because I was able to get out. I'm going to land. And now it's my turn to return the shots to them. Because while I'm flying away, they're just shooting at me. Now they're going to rush me. So the second they rush me... I'm going to return my shots, try to hit them as many times. As you saw, I gave him pressure, and it made him bail out of there. He, he saw I was lighting him up. He's like, you know what? Let me not do this. He bailed. He got out of there. And instead of instead of me rushing him because I know that he has teammates and I know my teammates not even close to us, I was like, I got to get out of here again. I'm just I'm just landing, giving them pressure to kind of slow them down, and then I'm running. That's basically what you want to do. They ended up knocking me down, which sucked. But as you can see, I'm down here. My teammates down here. They have high ground. I was kind of worried. These two people right here on the mini map, I guess they weren't doing anything. They didn't want a third party or anything like that. They were probably just camping. But, oh, that's what happened. So, as you guys can see, the, you hear gunshots. These people right here, these three guys right here, the whites, they're fighting the guys in the yellow. So, they probably think that me and my teammate, us, us duo, and these two duos are a full team. So, they're fighting those guys. They're not paying attention to us. And as you can see, now these two people start looking my way. I'm building up. They try to knock me down. And then I was like, you know what? Instead of fighting it again, I'm just going to get out of here, man. There's no reason to fight something you don't need to fight. I told my teammate, yo, let's just dip out of here. Let's get to the new circle. I need more mats. I wasted a lot of mats during that. So I think I had like 300 mats. I had to get more mats. My teammate, I don't know if he's pushing up that way, if he's just building stairs and he's going to fly my way. But it was a smart decision. We got out of there. We didn't want to get in the middle of two teams fighting because then that's not just four people we got to worry about. It's another... A another team of two people that are going to be shooting at us so smart play by us i think we dip out of there completely we end up flanking completely and as you can see we went to salty springs we ended up flanking completely and now it's me and my teammate netflix this guy which is a random let's go to drone free this is going to be a longer video but these tips are good so as you guys can see there's going to be people fighting so there's a team fighting here and then there's this guy kylxz he's he's a solo guy that's by himself now me and netflix we see i was like yo 
honestly, I'm down to just dip out of here. Netflix wanted to push it, but we got it. You got to get on the same page as each other. You got to commit to one single thing. I was like, yo, let's dip out of here because once we fight this guy, this team over here, whoever wins this fight of these guys, they're going to end up pushing us. So I was like, there's no reason to fight it. Let's just dip. But the second I saw my teammate Netflix pushing him, I was like, you know what? I got to help him out. So I saw this guy jumping out. I saw him trying to bail. So I was just going to shoot him down, focus this guy, get the kill. And then we can dip out of there. Again, flight pad. That thing is so clutch right there. Flying away is so clutch. You can always chase people, but you got to be careful. I knew the other people were fighting another team, so it was our chance to finally kill this guy. I think we just had a good build off. He ended up, I think, running away. Yeah, he flew away again. Same, same exact thing. I'm going to chase him. I'm going to stay on his butt cheeks because I need his mats, and I know he's a solo, so there's no reason for that to happen. Got in his face. Nothing he could do at that situation. Whenever somebody it lands in your same square, people freak out. They don't pull out their gun. They usually just try to build their way out of it, and you can't do that. So I ended up killing him there. So now it's a 2v3, I believe. It's me and my teammate Netflix. As you guys can see, there's five people left. Us two against these three. These are the first three people. Remember what I told you about where I bailed out of the fight? These are the three people that were good. They were building heavy. They were fighting. And they knew what they were doing. So it's those three against us two. Now, this is where things get serious where you're like, yo, it's do or die. If we lose this, we get second place. If we kill these people, we get first place. Now, again, I have high ground. I'm, I'm going to maintain high ground. I'm going to stay up here. I'm not going to go to the floor because there's no reason to do that. We have circles, so we know that they have to come to us. Tried hitting a snipe. If I hit that snipe, again, it would have been clutch. It would have been an easy kill, but it didn't work. This dude shot an RPG. Now, let me show you this, this part real quick. I don't know. This isn't really a tip but this is something that you need to keep in mind so he shot an rpg now keep in mind i remembered that i had these two walls protecting my backside so if he shot that rpg and he shot it at this back wall the explode damage would have hit me so i knew that was going to happen so what i decided to do was put up stairs have the stairs eat the damage of the rpg so that way i don't hit eat the damage so as you can see he shot the rpg i saw it was going above my head and i was like okay let me have my stairs eat the damage and here we go. Now, now my teammate ended up getting knocked, sadly, if you guys want to see. Uh, Netflix is right here. He's about to get knocked by this guy. So it's going to become a 1v3 situation. Now, we are split up, which is good. Again, being split up isn't really so bad. We're close enough to each other where we can kind of help each other. But we're split up to the point where we're not getting focused by all three of them. So as you can see, I'm not getting that much pressure. He's fighting one person. I'm fighting one person. And this guy's over here just chilling. I don't know what he's doing. So there's not that much pressure on my back. So I'm just playing the game normally. This guy can build, you can tell, because he's editing quick. I see that there's an opening right here. I know he's probably going to build a stair this way, or he's going to come up this way. So what I do is I jump up this way. I see he's still running. Jump up above him. I'm going to shoot my shotgun, put a floorboard, and edit it. That's that's the number one thing that pros do. You put damage into him. As you can see, I only did 17. I put a floorboard above him so he can't keep going high ground. I edit the floorboard. And now I'm in the same square as him because he's freaking out. He saw that that wasn't his roof. He hit it. There's a wall behind him. He can't do anything about that. And I just get in a circle, light him up, knock him just like that. Now I hear footsteps. I don't know if you guys heard that, but there's footsteps coming. I knew his teammate was coming. So I had to instantly get ready for the next fight. Build around me because I knew he had high ground. And as you can see, he has high ground. But I'm going to build for that high ground. I'm going to fight for that high ground. He ended up falling, which sucks for him. And I think his teammate dies. His teammate died from fall damage which sucks his teammate took a lot of fall damage and he died so now it's a 1v2 this situation this gets crazy i'm trying to look for them i'm trying to find where they are 1v2 situation against good players you, you're not going to know what to do you're going to kind of get a little nervous yeah i was nervous because i mean when you fight good people especially when you see them doing stuff like this trying to retake high ground and you see them putting a floorboard and a pyramid and then editing it and then building up again that's when you know that the person's good. They know what they're doing. So I wanted to give him some pressure. I saw he was trying to retake high ground. Let me just give him some pressure, shoot at him a little bit, make sure that there's nothing he can do. He takes a sniper shot, which is his mistake, because now he has to reload. I'm going to use this opportunity to wait for him to peek or shoot his structure down. So as you can see, I'm waiting for him to peek, and I see him peek. Hit him with a nice 70 headshot, which is really good because that, that one, scares him to heal up. And two, it makes him kind of chill out so I can focus his teammate, focus his friend. So now that I hit him for the 70, you're going to see he's literally just going to hide under underground and stuff like that. He's not going to really rush me or anything like that because he knows he has shields. He, he should just heal up. And I'm going to focus his friend a little bit, try and give him his friend a little bit of pressure so his friend stops going for high ground. But you can see these guys are dedicated, trying to get that high ground, really dedicated to it. As you can see, super slurp. I don't know how to say it, but slurp. He ends up pushing up really high, and he's really trying to get that high ground advantage. So I'm like, you know what? 
just because we could redeploy shoots this is the only reason i'm doing this because i will not die but normally if you can't i wouldn't do something like this because if they shoot you down you're dead automatically i'm not gonna let him get high ground i'm not gonna let him get above me i'm gonna focus him retake the high ground and make sure he doesn't shoot me now his teammates down there i don't know what he's doing i'm really just focusing this guy retaking high ground and at this point if they shoot me down i could just glide over here and land on his place i knew he was over there as you can see, he shot me down, so I flew over here. Now, this is where I made a mistake. I saw he was building up. What I was going to do is land on this stair right here that I'm about to land on and then start building up with stairs. But I accidentally landed and just jumped off again on accident. So I was like, crap, I got to reset. Now they both have high ground. This is this is where things suck. When somebody has high ground like this, you got to retake high ground. So instantly, you see me building, and I'm protecting myself so that way I don't get shot. I put a roof over my head and a floorboard. And they're just lighting me up. This dude right here is on the same level as me. I didn't see him. I only thought there was a guy above me. He's lighting me up with this AR. The dude above me is probably shooting me. They RPG me. They get me weak. I have no no shields left. Barely that much health. So right here, I was freaking out. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was like, honestly, I think we're going to lose this. I don't think we're going to win this. These guys are too good, and I don't have that much heals or mats. I'm out of wood, stuff like that. Pop my minis. And then we're going to reset. This is going to be a really long video, you guys. I want to know if you guys actually stick it to the end. If you guys have made it this far in the video, comment down below. You're an OG fan. Be like, OG fan. Just comment OG fan because I'm curious how many of you guys actually made it this far in the video. But as you can see, the circle's coming. I had a, I, I heard them fly away. I thought maybe one was up here still. Um, but I decided, you know what? Let me retake high ground. Let me stay up here. Make sure everything's safe. And I know where they shot me from. I saw that he shot me from down here. I did not see Super Slurp. I did just see the Jew guy, Pajit Jew. I don't know. I saw him. So I was like, okay, let me let me try and light him up. Hit him for a good, I think, 16 or 17 damage. That's going to give him some time to heal up. If he does have shields. I didn't know if he had shields or not. I thought maybe he didn't. So every tag matters. It really does matter. And I had high ground. I knew the storm was coming. They were in the circle. I was in the circle. But I had high ground. There was no reason for me to lose the high ground. Especially with me not knowing where both of them are. And I was going to use a campfire. Regain my health. And then go fight. So this guy right here. The uh, Pajit Jew. He shot an RPG at me, so I figured he's going to shoot me down. Um, I need to get to the circle anyway, so why not just jump to the circle? I see this guy right here building up, so that's my target right there. The guy that's going for the high ground is my target because once I can kill high ground, I take over high ground. So he was my target, but it looks like he saw me coming. He started shooting at me. There's no reason for me to try and land on him or anything like that because he's going he's gonna to have the upper hand because I'm literally flying into him, so I can't do anything but fly. And at this point, I was like, you know what? Crap, I got to shoot his thing down. Build to protect yourself because he is above me. As you guys can see, he's going to shoot at me. And then I'm going to still focus on his stairs and knock him down. Because this is the only two things that's holding him up. Now he's falling. And he's going to come down to my level. Exactly on my level. But he caught himself. Apparently, I don't know how he caught himself. And now, this dude RPG'd me. Which See, this is where things get crazy. When you're in a crazy fight like this, you got to keep in mind of where people are, where the circle is and stuff. And you got to just react quick. So this dude has an RPG. I see, I see an opening right here. I see he's reloading his shotgun or his RPG. I have my shotgun out. I do know the guy's above me, but I'm not going to really focus him too hard right now. I'm going to try to get a shotgun shot off on him and then build. So that way, if he does shoot an RPG at me, he can kill himself, basically. Hit my shot, try to let him up a little bit, and I, then I put down to my wall. As you can see, he shoots his RPG. And he knocks himself, which is his mistake. So people really do make that mistake a lot when it comes to the RPG. I heard this guy flying in. He has a double barrel. So when you hear the shotgun shot, I know he has a double barrel. I'm like, okay, so he only has one more shot left. Um, but if he gets a headshot, he can st still kill me with that double barrel. So instantly, what I do is jump over here, peek him. I hit him for like 42 damage or something like that. Put up a wall in front of him. He took his second shot, so now he has no more double barrel. He has no more shot. He's going to have to reload his gun. I see he put the stairs, like I said earlier. If somebody puts stairs going one direction, they're probably going to end up going that way. I tried putting a floorboard to trap him. But it didn't work, so I was like, you know what? It's not going to work again. Let me cut him off and jump in his same square. So as you can see, as he's about to spin, jump in his square, light him up, hit him for a lot of damage. I think I get him really weak. And then right here, I was going to put a floorboard down and try to keep him below me. Just like that. I was hoping to land back on the floorboard. If I did, I was going to land on the floorboard. He's below me. Edit again and shoot him again real quick. He would not have expected it, but I fell. Knowing that I fell, I was like, okay, he's one thing above me. This is all I have to destroy to make him to fall to my level. So I pulled out my AR, started shooting at it a little bit, saw he fell with me, switched back to my shotgun instantly, and I jumped and flicked my shot. 
and got a headshot on him, killed him, and ended up winning the game. Guys, it is very hard. I got eight kills. Sometimes when you're going against good players, it can get a little difficult, but it is fun, you guys. Um, there you guys have it. Tips and tricks on how to go against good players, when to know when to rotate, how to get out of bad position and stuff like that. This is probably a longer video, but I wanted to do this for you guys because it was a good game to actually just recover and talk to you guys and break it down and try and help you guys out. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you please can, give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate the likes more than anything, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.